Hello everyone, nice to see you again. For the people who don't know me, my name is Đinh Thị Tường Vi and I am an English teacher at Nguyễn Trãi Junior High School. Let me introduce you the lesson today. Today we will learn Unit 6 after school and in Unit 6 we have two parts. Part A, what do you do? And Part B, let's go. Before we start the lesson today, please make sure that you have good preparations for it. First, I want you to repair your notebook, textbook, and your pens. And the second, please stop the video to answer the questions or do the exercises. The third one, but it is the most important one. Remember to take note carefully on your notebook and then you can review this unit at home. So what we will learn today, after this unit, you are able to talk about popular after school activities. Besides that, you will learn some new structures about suggestions and invitation. The first part of this lesson is vocabulary. I am going to provide you with some new words related to the topic after school. Number one, come along. Come along is mean go somewhere with someone. Number two, maybe, maybe. Number three, enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy has the similar meaning with like and love. Number four, look at the picture. They are acting. We have the word acting, acting. Number five, these are different activity that you can do in your free time and we call them pastime, pastime. Number six, look at the children. They are the member of the theater group, theater group. Number seven, rehearse, rehearse. Rehearse means practicing a play or music to perform in public. Number eight, anniversary. Anniversary. Anniversary is a special day with an important event happened in the past. And if today is your anniversary, you can have a celebration for it. We have the word celebration, celebration. Number 10, look at the picture. Who is this? This is Uncle Ho. He is the first president of Vietnam. And we have the word president, president. Number 11, I am a collector and I like collecting stamps. This is my collection. We have the word collect, collect, collection, collection, collector, collector. Number 12. Look at this boy. He can play a lot of sport. He is sporty, sporty. Number 13. And this boy, what is he doing? He is lying on a sofa. We have the word lying, lying. Number 14, assignment, assignment. Assignment had the same similar meaning with homework, the task that you have to finish. Number 15, who are they? They are broom and bride, and this is their wedding. Wedding. So now, listen and repeat after me, please. Come along. Come along. Maybe. Maybe. Enjoying. Enjoying. Acting. Acting. Pastime. 
pastime, theater group, theater group, rehearse, rehearse, anniversary, anniversary, celebration, celebration, president, president, collect, collect, collection, collection, collector, collector. Sporty, sporty, line, line, assignment, assignment, wedding, wedding. Now we will start the lesson with part A one on page city and city one. Let's think. What do you often do after school? After school, you can skip rope, play video games, go fishing, play soccer, read comics, play plyman's bluff, go swimming, or watch TV. So many things that you can do after a school day. And now. We meet Mun and Hoa. They are talking about their after-school activities. Now listen to their dialogue and then do the task. Let's start. Unit six, after school. A. What do you do? One. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Pages sixty-four, sixty-five. Hello, Hoa. What are you doing? Hi, Min. I'm doing my math homework. You work too much, Hua. You should relax. It's half past four, and tomorrow is Sunday. Okay. What should we do? Let's go to the cafeteria and get a cold drink. Good idea. Where's Ba? Do you know? Let's invite him too. Oh. Ba is in the music room. He's learning to play the guitar. He practices every day after school. Min, what do you usually do after school? I usually meet my friends. We often do our homework together. Do you play sports? Oh yes, I play volleyball for the school team. We always need more players. Why don't you come along? Yes, maybe I will. I enjoy playing volleyball. Okay, and this is a dialogue of Min and Hua. After you listen and read the conversation, please do the exercise two false quiz. Decide that the statement is true or false, and if it is false, please correct it. You have two minutes to do this task. Okay, now we check the answer. A. Hua is doing her English homework. Is it true or false? Yes, it's false. Hua is doing her math homework, not English. B. Min and Hua are going to the cafeteria. Is it true or false? Yes, it's true. Very good. C. Ba is in the living room. Is it true or false? Very nice. It's false. Ba is in the music room, not living room. D. Ba practices to play the guitar every day. Is it true or false? Good job. It's true. E. Min plays volleyball for the school team. Is it true or false? Very good. It's true. And the last one, sentence F. Ha likes playing basketball. Is it true or false? Great. It's false. Ha likes playing volleyball. Let's move on the next part. A3 on page 62. 
we will meet three students of class 7A and read about their favorite activity after school. This is Nga, this is Ba, and this is Nam. The student of class 7A enjoy different activity after school hours. So now we will listen about Nga, Ba, and Nam. Let's start. The students of class 7A enjoy different activities after school hours. Acting is Nya's favourite pastime. She is a member of the school theatre group. At present, her group is rehearsing a play for the school anniversary celebration. Ba is the president of the Stamp Collectors Club. On Wednesday afternoon, he and his friends get together and talk about their stamps. If they have any new stamps, they usually bring them to school. Ba's American friend Liz gives him a lot of American stamps. Num is not very sporty. In the afternoon, he usually goes home and watches videos. Sometimes he reads a library book or comics, but most of the time he lies on the couch in front of the TV. He never plays games. So now, to make sure that you understand what they are talking about, I have some questions for you about the text. The first question, what is Nga's theatre group doing? B. How does Ba get American stamps? C. When do the stamp collectors club meet? D. How often does Nam play games? You have two minutes to do this exercise. Okay, now let's check your answer. A. The answer is her group is rehearsing a play for the school anniversary celebration. How about B? The answer is Ba gets American stamp from Liz, his American friend. The answer for C is the stamp collectors club meets on Wednesday afternoons. And the last answer. Nam never plays games. Are you correct? Please continue the lesson with part P1 on page 64. Now, look at the pictures and answer my questions. Number 1. How many people are there in the picture? Very good. There are 4 people in the picture. Number two, who are they? Very nice. They are Ba, Nam, Lang, and Hoa. Number three, where are they? Good job. They are in the living room at Lang's house. And number four, are they listening to music? Good. Yes, they are. Okay, now let's listen to Ba, Nam, Lang, and Hoa, and then answer the questions about their dialogue. Let's listen. B. Let's go. 1. Listen. Then practice in groups of 4. Page 68. What should we do this evening? What about going to the movies? There aren't any good movies showing at the moment. Let's go to my house. We can listen to some music. I'm sorry, Lan. I can't come. I have too many assignments. Wow! It's Sunday tomorrow. Why don't you relax? Come on. Let's go to Lan's house. Are you going to come, Hua? It'll be fun. Okay, I'll come. Thanks. Great. Now you're learning to relax. And this is our dialogue. Okay, now, do you want to play a game with me? 
Let's play together. Now you read the questions and choose the correct answer to have the little rabbit find its carrot. Let's start. Number one, what does Nam want to do? A. He wants to listen to music. B. He would like to go to the movies. C. He wants to go to Lang's house. And D. He would like to do homework. What is your answer? Is it A? No, it's wrong. Try again. Yes, very good. It's B. Good job. You have one carrot. Number two. Why doesn't Lang want to go to the movies? A. Because it's far. B. Because there are some interesting movies. C. Because he wants to do assignments. D. Because there aren't any good movies. What is your answer? Is that B? Let's check. Yes, very good. The answer is D. Because there aren't any good movies. Number three. What does Lang want to do? A. She would like to listen to music. B. Lang wants to learn to relax. C. She wants to do assignments. D. Lang would like to watch a good movie. What is your answer? Is it C? Let's check. No, it's wrong. Try again. Is it A? Let's check. Yes, very good. The answer is A. She would like to listen to music. Number four. Why doesn't Hua want to go to Lang's house? A. Because Hua is lazy. B. Because Hua wants to see a movie. C. Because she has too many assignments. And D. Because she thinks it's boring. What do you choose? Is it C? Let's check your answer. Yes, good job. The answer is C because she has too many assignments. And the last question, what day is it? A. It's Monday. B. It's Thursday. C. It's Saturday. And D. It's Sunday. Is that B? Do you choose B? Let's check. No, I'm sorry. Try again. Is it C? Yes, very good. The answer is, is Saturday. Okay, how many carrots can you find for the rabbit? Five carrots? Very good. Okay, we continue with B3 on page 66. Let's listen to Lang, Nga, and Hoa, then complete the dialogue. This is our dialogue. Okay, now let's listen. Three, listen, then practice with a partner. Make similar dialogues, page 70. 
It's my birthday on Sunday. Would you like to come to my house for lunch? Yes, I'd love to. What time? At one o'clock. I'll be there. I'll see you on Sunday. After lunch, we're going to see a movie. Will you join us? I'm not sure. I will call you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks for inviting me. It's my pleasure. What about you, Hua? Would you like to come too? I would love to, but I'm going to a wedding on Sunday. That is too bad. Sorry, I can't come. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, now we listen again and check your answer. Three. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Make similar dialogues. Page seventy. It's my birthday on Sunday. Would you like to come to my house for lunch? Yes, I'd love to. What time? At one o'clock. I'll be there. I'll see you on Sunday. After lunch, we're going to see a movie. Will you join us? I'm not sure. I will call you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks for inviting me. It's my pleasure. What about you, Hua? Would you like to come too? I would love to, but I'm going to a wedding on Sunday. That is too bad. Sorry, I can't come. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. Many correct answer do you have? On correct, it's very good, and you can see in the conversation, Nghe is inviting Lang and Hua to come to her house for lunch because it's in her birthday on Sunday. So, how can we invite someone? And if you want to suggest something, how can we say? To know how to make suggestion or invitation, the grammar point of this lesson can help you. So we move on the second part of this lesson, grammar. The first point, making suggestions. To make suggestion, we can use three structures. Number one, let's. Let's is a short form of let us, and we use verb bear infinitive after let's. Number two, why don't you or why don't we? We can use verb bear infinitive after why don't you and why don't we. Number three, what about? What about is different from let's and why don't you? We use verb ing or noun after what about. And to answer for this suggestion, if you agree, you can use yes let's. That's a good idea. Go ahead. I'd love to. Why not? But. If you don't agree, you use let not. I love to, but. Thanks, but. The second point, give invitations. To give invitation, you have two ways. The first one, you use would you like plus to verb. Or the second one, you can use would you like plus noun. And to answer an invitation, you can say yes, I would, or yes, I'd love to, or I'm sorry, I can't, or you can say I'd love to, but. And on the other side, you can say yes, please, no, thank you, or no, thanks. And to respond to things, you can say like, for example. You say thanks for inviting me, and then the other can say it's my pleasure. Or you say thanks anyway. The other can say you're welcome. Okay, 
That's her point. Advice. To advise somebody to do something, you can use the structure subject plus should plus verb infinitive. For example, you can say, you should relax. Or we can say, what should we do? We move on the third part of the lesson. I have presented to you some new structure and now we practice. And this exercise today is multiple choice. Choose the best answer. And we have seven questions. Now you have two minutes to do this exercise. Let's start. Okay, now check your answer. Number one, we have the structure what about. And after what about, you can use verb ing. So the answer is C, going. What about going to the movies? Number two, we have the structure let's. After let's, we use verb benefinitive. So the answer is A, do. Let's do homework together. Number three, should. We have should in the sentence. And after should, we use verb infinitive. So the answer is A. What should we do this evening? Number four, after would you like, you can use two verb. So the answer for number four is D, to come. Would you like to come to my house for dinner? Number five, what is your answer? To answer for an invitation, would you like? You can use the answer B, I'd love to. Would you like to go swimming? I'd love to. Number six, after shoot, we use verb infinitive. So the answer for number six is B, go. Should we go to the cafeteria? I'm sorry, I can't. And the last one, number seven, let's go to my house. We have let's is a short form of let us. So the answer for number seven is C, let us. How many correct answer do you have? Seven answers is very good. Congratulations. And the last part for today, conclusion. What have we learned today? Today we have learned about the vocabulary related to after school activity. And how many words do we have? Can you remember? We have 15 words. Please write down it on your notebook and copy it if you need. The second part we learn about grammar. We have three structure. Number one, making suggestion. Number two, invitations. And number three, advice. Okay, this is all about the lesson today. Unit 6. Before we stop the lesson today, I will give you some homework. First, please learn by heart the new words and the grammar points. And second, review unit 4, 5, 6. And prepare for the next lesson, Language Focus 2. Okay, thanks for listening and thanks for your attendance today. Goodbye and see you later. Thank you.